It's big, it's bright, and it's back. It's the FIBA 3X3 World Championships in Guangzhou, China. And it's the third edition. Coming up, a USA star and her huge appetite to play 3X3. The world's best player on how finishing second fueled his desire to be number one. And of course, the best teams in the world slug it out with their eyes on the prize, spots on the podium, and some precious metal around their necks. Guangzhou hosts a sporting event that has its roots in the parks and streets. A game played on a half court with one hoop, 10 minute games, 12 second shot clocks, and a first to 21 point winner. It's fun, it's urban, and it's street smart in the city of flowers. Serbia started pool play with a bang, defeating the other two medalists of the 2014 edition on the same day. Marco Savic had nine points to avenge the final loss against Qatar, while the number one 3x3 player in the world, Dusan Bullet, scored in double digits in a convincing win over Russia. Serbia also beat Italy and New Zealand on day three. Qatar won their opener against Italy 19-15. Former NBA draft pick Tangi Ngambo was terrific as Qatar also got wins over New Zealand and Russia to clinch second place. Slovenia, who recently beat Serbia in the European Championships final, brushed aside Uruguay, Indonesia, Andorra, and Egypt to top pool B. Simon Finsgar, the former world number one, was Slovenia's leading scorer with a total of 26 points in their four wins. Uruguay finished second with two wins. Meanwhile, Spain beat Hungary, the Philippines, Romania, and Poland to win Pool C. Jose Rojas led the Spaniards in scoring with 27 points in the four games. Hungary won their other three by a combined five points to clinch second place. Thomas Ivosev scored 11 in a pivotal 18-16 win over the Filipinos. Team USA took no prisoners in Pool D. Stefan Hanna, a.k.a. Hanna Carter, was electric in their 15-11 victory over the Netherlands. Mike Omai Henry then took over the next two wins. He had nine points in a 20-12 triumph over Turkey and 10 points in a 21-12 romp over Japan. USA also beat China. The Netherlands advanced to the last eight after getting three wins. The Netherlands and Ukraine clinched first and second place ahead of New Zealand in Pool A of the women's tournament. The Dutch and Ukraine advanced ahead of the Kiwis on a tiebreaker. The Netherlands' closest win came against Poland. They edged the Poles 14 to 13. Jacobine Clark a.k.a. the Jackal, had 10 points in the win. Ukraine finished second, but they did beat the pool winners, the Netherlands, 12-8 in their first game. Recently crowned European champions Hungary and Argentina also advanced on a tiebreaker ahead of Australia in Pool B. All three teams had three wins. Petra Zabo of Hungary was the third leading scorer in women's play with 29 points. Australia didn't advance despite edging Hungary 12 to 11 in their last game. They had lost their game to Argentina 18 to 16. The top two teams also advanced from pool C and D after winning tiebreakers. The USA, Spain, and Italy each had three wins in pool C, but the Americans and Spaniards reached the last eight on total points scored. Spain's Aitana Mediavia made headlines when she had 16 points in a dominant win over Japan. She finished as the leading scorer with 37 points in women's pool play. The USA clinched first place, although Spain did win their encounter 21-16. It was the first ever loss by the American women at the 3x3 World Championship. 
France and the Czech Republic took first and second ahead of China on a tiebreaker in Pool D. The French were impressive winners over the Czechs 21 to 13, but they lost to China 21 to 17. The Czechs limited China to just 10 points in their win over the tournament host, the key result in the tiebreaker. The USA women arrived at the 2016 3x3 World Championships in China with a tradition of excellence in competition. Lene Harper, one of the American players this year, knew she was following in some big footsteps with greats like Jewel Floyd. The WNBA star led the USA to their second straight goal just two years ago in Moscow. I played against Jewel Lloyd in high school a few times, and that was a great experience, too. Uh, she's a great player, a great person, uh, and I hope that, you know, one day I can get to that next level and say, you know, three on three helped me get to, you know, the WNBA or playing overseas or in the pros. So it's a great opportunity to be able to be in the same position that they were in, you know, just a few years ago. The game has changed a lot since Harper played at the 3x3 Under-18 World Championships in 2011. When we first got here, there was like, this is the court. I'm like, it's only one court? Well, a few years ago, it was maybe 10, 15 courts, and we're all just playing. But um, it's good to know that, you know, each team has a spotlight, you know, for 10 minutes, and you get to showcase your talent and uh, your toughness, you know, to the world. So I like the setup. I like the one game with the lights and uh, the MC talking with the music. Uh, I think it's cool. With the possibility of 3x3 basketball being an Olympic sport in 2020, Harper doesn't want Guangzhou to be our last tournament. It's a great sport. Uh, it's not really taxing on your body, uh, like with the subs and everything, and you get a break in between the games. So uh, definitely, if I had another opportunity to play three on three, I would. Top seed Serbia turned on the style against the Netherlands and won the first quarterfinal 22 to 10. Mr. Bulletproof himself and Marco Savage hit a combined five deuces and scored 19 of their team's points. The mountain fell flat with four points in a defeat for the Netherlands. Spain got hot from long range and nailed seven two-pointers in a 22 to six route of Uruguay in the second quarterfinal. Ismael Sanchez led the way with eight points. Jose Rojas had seven, and Javier Meras had five in the Spanish run. Number two, Slovenia had no trouble with Hungary in the last eight, rolling to a 21 to 10 win. This time, it was the powerful, bustling presence of Anze Shrebo, the top scorer at the recent European Championships, who led Slovenia. He had 11 points. The USA, seeded fourth, ended the title defense of Qatar in the toughest and closest quarterfinal of them all. Michael Mai Henry carried the USA on his back to victory with seven points. Tangi and Gambo hit three two-pointers and had seven points for Qatar, but USA ended their run. It feels good to knock off the reigning champion, so I mean, 27-0, that's a great number. The Czech Republic opened up quarterfinal play in the women's tournament with a 16-11 win over the Netherlands. Theresa Vorlova scored six points. The two-time Olympian Michaela Orova scored five, and the 18-year-old Sarah Komposova added four for the Czechs. Sonia Kuijst had a game-high seven points in defeat. The defending champs, Team USA, rolled to a 17-5 win over Argentina. Alexis Jennings powered her way for nine points and Natalie Romeo hit a couple of twos as the Americans dominated. Argentina was completely overmatched in this one. Spain continued their fine play with a 21-13 triumph over the European champions, Hungary. Paula Paramares couldn't miss for Spain. She had five twos and 12 points, while Aitana Mediavia poured in seven in the big win. 
The Ukraine train stayed on track with an upset of France in the last quarterfinal. Gana Zaritska and Daria Zavidna each hit three two balls and combined to score 17 of Ukraine's 21 points in a 21-10 victory. Many of the top marksmen in 3x3 basketball showed up at the World Championships in Guangzhou, and that made for one hell of a shootout contest. There were 38 players that entered the fray, and when it was all said and done, there was a fabulous four that competed in the final. Paula Paramares of Spain, Natalie Romeo of Team USA, Tanov Gun of Turkey, and Angel Santana of Romania. The silky smooth Paramanas took a commanding lead with nine points. That is until 3x3 legend Angel Santana stepped on the court and set the crowd on fire. The Romanian started with five bricks before catching fire and finishing with 10 points, including his last two money balls. Paramanas struck silver while Romeo had to settle for bronze with six points. To be an elite 3x3 player, you need skills and versatility. Everyone that watched the 3x3 World Championships will say there's no shortage of skill on display. And there was no problem finding contestants for the skills contest where women showed off their dribbling, shooting, and passing skills. After the qualifying rounds, there was a fantastic four to go after the medals. Alexandra Theodorian of Hungary, Marta Fodor of Romania, Georgia Agnew of New Zealand, and Chinese Taipei's Sai Ye Lu all went after spots on the podium. While Agnew ended up winning the bronze medal, Theodorian and Fodor ended up in a battle for the gold. The number three player in the world, Theodorian, who just won the European Championship for our country in September, showed plenty of flair and skill as she edged Fodor for the gold. Serbia arrived in China as the top seed at the 3x3 World Championships, and they showed just why as they marched into the semifinals. But in the final four, they ran into a hard-nosed, determined Spain team. In a real battle, both teams turned up the intensity on defense. Dejan Majstorovic hit the only two-pointer for Serbia. He had five points, while Dusan Bullet led the way with eight points as Serbia claimed a 17-13 victory. Juan Vasco Trabado led a balanced Spanish attack with five points, but it wasn't enough. Serbia would advance. It's very physical because guys from Spain is very strong. It's a good defense on both sides, but I think we, we play much aggressive defense is much better. The fellas for Team USA jumped on the back of Mike Henry once again and scraped out a 17-15 victory over recently crowned European champion Slovenia. Oh my, was a constant menace, scoring nine points. Now Slovenia, they're a tough team to beat, and they kept it close with a two-point shot. They had five in all with Simon Finsgar and Gaspar Ognik each drilling two apiece. But the USA had a little bit too much in this one. The Fonz McKinney and Stefan Hanaconda each had four points for the Americans as they moved to within a win of the world title. That's just the type of team we are, man. We're an athletic team, and we got a, a point guard who can find me and Mike Henry every time we come to the basket. The ladies of the Czech Republic made sure we were going to see a new winner this year, defeating the two-time defending champions USA in the first semifinal. Katarina Novotna was too hot to handle. She had nine points for the Czechs, who hurt the Americans all over the court on offense. Novotna, Orova, and Krumpelsova each hit a couple of two-pointers. Krumpelsova, the MVP of the 3x3 Under-18 European Championships earlier this year, continued to show that she could get it done at the highest level. It was wonderful when we can beat the USA team. It's something special for the Czech Republic. With three players only. Ukraine took on Spain in the second semifinal, 
and inflicted a lot of pain. Yana Zaritska continued her dominant play for Ukraine. She was one of the stars at the European Games and European Championships where Ukraine snatched silver. Zaritska knocked in three two-pointers and scored 11 big points overall. Paula Paramares and Aitana Mediavia had carried Spain offensively at the World Championship. They combined for 11 of the team's 15 points in the semifinal, but it wasn't enough as Ukraine won to reach the title game. The most eagerly awaited dunk contest in a long time took place at the 3x3 World Championships in Guangzhou, and there was no shortage of high-flying aerial artistry. The dunkers didn't disappoint. Italy's Marco Favretto went behind the back and slammed it home with a windmill that caused quite the stir. Alfonso McKinney got plenty of elevation on his dunks, too. That man can just flat out get up. The Fonz also showed some power with his jams. But the dude that really lit it up goes by the name of Smooth, and that he was. I mean, come on, just look at what the Ukrainian dunker Dmitry Smooth Kravinko was able to do with the ball in the air before throwing it down with authority. Kravenko throws it up to oh! Hey, oh! this man oh! is sick. 361 hand? I don't believe that. Smooth was also in a groove with one that started in the corner. He bounced it off the court, cradled it with one hand, and gave us a one-hand punch we won't forget. Kravenko behind the back. And that's a bad boy. Smooth was a bad boy. Just ask Diddy. He turned it up a notch with one more sensational slam that dropped jaws and got some oohs and ahs from the crowd while he captured gold. Finishing second was the Fonz, while the very impressive Favretto claimed the bronze. When it comes to Serbia and 3x3 basketball, no player has a bigger name than Dusan Bullet. What sets Bullet and his teammates apart, though, is their insatiable desire to win titles. That's Serbian pride, Serbian mentality. We have that in ourselves. We call it inat. We always want to prove something. I don't know how and I don't know why, but I'm raised in that fashion that it's gold medal or nothing less. If you're already somewhere, take everything you got, and that is the back of my mind every time I play for Serbia. Bullet understood that very well a couple of years ago. After winning the inaugural edition in Greece back in 2012, he and Serbia made it to the gold medal game of the 3x3 World Championships in Moscow in 2014. But Qatar shocked them for gold, forcing Serbia to finish second. I think that loss in final of 2014 made us what we are today because that was the toughest moment in my life, you know, and I didn't want to feel like that never in my life again. You are second in, in Europe or second in the world, you know, nobody's out there. I'm, I'm calling my friends, come on, you, somebody needs to pick me up on, a, on the airport, and then nobody is there for you, you know, because you didn't win the gold medal. It's looked tough, but it makes you a better athlete. And if you survive that, I think uh, you can just turn that uh, motivation to perform better and then be a better person. USA traveled to China looking to win a third world title, but were derailed by the Czechs in the last four. At bare minimum, they wanted a medal, and they got it with a 20-14 win over Spain in the battle for bronze. Natalie Romeo connected on four shots from deep and had a game-high nine points for the Americans. 
the Czech Republic and Ukraine then squared off in a battle of European giants for the world championships. Gana Zaritska had been so influential for the Ukrainians, but she was held in check by the Czechs and scored only four points. In this game, it was all about balance, determination, skill, and the continued emergence of Sarah Krumfosova. The youngster had eight points while Katarina Novotna had five, each hitting a couple of two balls. That balanced attack was on full view because tournament MVP Michaela Orova and Teresa Varlova poured in four points apiece. And the Czechs reached the top of the podium with a 21 to 11 victory. Ukraine had a wonderful tournament, but had to settle for second best and the silver medal. We know that we can beat Ukraine and we did our best and we really enjoy it. European champion Slovenia squared off against Spain in the bronze medal game. The clash turned out to be a classic, with Spain getting a combined 14 points from Splash Brothers Ismael Sanchez and Jose Rojas. But Simon Finsgaard scored seven points, while Gaspar Ovnik dropped six as Slovenia edged it 17-16. In the final, Serbia went up against a powerful USA team led by Mike Omai oh Henry. The number one seed Serbia still had the bitter taste in their mouth from finishing second at the European Championship just a month ago. So one thing was for sure, they didn't want to experience it again. The USA had already shown everyone they were a great team. After all, they were 28-0 since their 3x3 debut over the summer, but they hadn't played the powerhouse Serbia yet. Serbia played their usual tough defense and limited Henry to just five points. The USA's biggest weapon was Stefan Hanna. Hanna Konda hit a couple of twos and scored six points, but Dusan Bullet showed once again why he's the best player in the world. The tournament MVP hit three deuces, scoring eight points, while Dejan Majstorovic, a.k.a. the Maestro, also added eight. Serbia, beaten in the final two years ago by Qatar, took on mighty USA and won 21-16 to recapture the world title. Dusan with a mismatch here, guarded by the larger McKinney. Now Dusan with Henry on him. Surprise, surprise, Kings are back. We play against team like them. Uh, they didn't play uh, against team like us, so it was a little bit surprise for them, not for us. At the 3x3 World Championships in Guangzhou, there was plenty of shaking and baking, high flying, jamming, hooping and scooping, putbacks, and so much more. Here's the tournament's top five plays. Number five, when you can do a filthy crossover like Paula Paramaris and then stroke the J in the defender's face, you know you gotta have a spot on the top five. Number four, check out this baseline action from the Fonz McKinney. He brought his toolbox, it's hammer time. Number three, when the number one 3x3 player in the world, Dusan Bullet, decides to go to the cup, he's coming with authority. And don't forget the fundamentals, kiddies. Use that glass. Number two, you know why the Board of Health loves Michael My Henry? Because he cleans the glass like nobody else. Put that back. And at number one, you talk about a play that checks all the boxes? Check out the razzle-dazzle from Stefan Hanaconda. Then the no-look pass on the alley-oop flush from the Fonz McKinney, who brought out his pogo sticks. That, my friends, is how you do it in 3x3. I'm just saying. The 
edition of the 3x3 World Championships in Guangzhou, China was even better than advertised. And great news, FIBA's already confirmed the 3x3 World Championships will now be staged every year, starting in 2017 in Nantes, France. But before that, there's still some hugely important 3x3 basketball to be played this year. Of course, we got the final of the pro season coming up. The World Tour Final in Abu Dhabi is just around the corner on the 27th and 28th of October. It'll feature 11 of the 12 World Championship medalists. And remember, you can follow it live with the hashtag 3x3WT on FIBA 3x3 social media channels on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. All right, so... Peace out from Guangzhou. We'll see you in Abu Dhabi, baby.